Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to test a travel gadget. I don't know if you can call it a travel gadget, but um, my dad recently gave me a Redfish mini vacuum tool. It's a vacuum food sealer. I'm not sure why he would have bought a vacuum food sealer, but he did and it wasn't what he wanted. He He's not used it, by the way. There's no, like, food in anything. But he said, oh, it's, like, travel. And I'm like, maybe you could use it for, like, your holidays and stuff. So today I am going to test it for the first time to see if it really could work as a travel gadget. Um, not so it's, like, completely out there. I have used vacuum pack stuff before when I've been traveling. When I moved to America, I vacuumed. Like, I had the big vacuum pack bags and I vacuum things like towels, um, winter coats, um, all uh, like big like fleeces and hoodies, like all like the big stuff I vacuum packed because I was moving to America so I needed clothes for two different temperatures and rather than buy new ones I thought I would try and vacuum it shut and it worked I mean it did work and I kind of thought like with like the whole like travel allowances like on airlines and that getting smaller like maybe it would be good to be able to vacuum pack like things in your hand luggage like when you could only travel with cabin bags so in theory I really like the thought of this so I'm going to try it now and see if it actually works so it comes, this particular one, the Redfish one, it comes like this. It is a USB rechargeable one, which is good. You don't need any batteries. This is the vacuum sealer, on-off button, hole that sucks. There's also like some weird like extension thing. I'm not too sure what that's for. USB lead. This thing which kind of helps you seal the top, like, like seal it. And then underneath you get these like little vacuum pack like ziplock bag so I'm going to try now and see if I could actually get anything in them or if they actually seal well like, they seem quite sturdy but the, oh, the hole's really small um I've just got a couple of things here got some Harry Potter pajamas I'm going to try and suction in so I'll try and do it so you can see it so like they fit the shorts fit in there quite well but obviously there's no point just vacuum packing one pair of shorts <laughs> uh, and this is the top that goes with the shorts we'll stick that in there as well uh, squish that in and then I've also got a t-shirt try and squish this into I think that's probably going to be the limit of what can fit in there I mean it's quite squished already but that's like Full, I would say. So I'm gonna get the little tool. See if I can squish this thing shut. Uh, come on. Is it gonna work? Like that. There we go. Right. So that seems to be shut. Right. So hopefully it works. Right. And then there's a little. That's the seal where you put it on. So you apparently, it's, oh, do not feel beyond this line. Oh man, uh, I guess we'll try and squish it over. There's a little. Uh, it says, "Do not feel beyond this line." So I'm now going to have to try and squish the stuff below the line. Maybe that will work like that. Right. So now put it on, and then you press. Oh, I don't know if I can do this holding it up. Is it going to work? I don't know if it's working. Oh. Oh, is it moving? Or is it just going really slow? I don't think it's doing anything. Ah, that's poop. I wonder if the extension thing works. Ooh. 
Oh, oh, oh! It's squishing! You have to kind of hold it tight. Is it gonna work? Keep going! Has it stopped? It's kind of going squishy, but I can still feel loads and loads of air in there. Ooh, no, it does seem to be going down. You have to really, so yeah, don't feel, <laughs> don't feel to the line. Then you have to actually like hold your hand like over it. Is it working? Hmm. I mean, it has squashed them a little bit, but not as, like, flat as what I would like. I mean, I guess it's a little bit flatter than what it would be without them. I mean, I, I, you definitely have to feel below the line, which then kind of makes, obviously, the pack even smaller. But, yeah, I don't know what I think about that. I don't... I. I think it's a bit of a flop, I would say. But like when I use the big ones, it's like I also had to I put cellar tape over the top because sometimes like if you leave it for a while, like especially when I was packing to move, um, the air would leak out after a while, like out the hole, because obviously there's a hole there, that's how the air gets in. So I would cover up like the hole and then I'd put a bit of cellar tape over the top to try and keep it in. Um but then you, I often like think like if you say to use it like to go on like a small holiday or a trip, where are you going to get a Hoover from or like a vacuum the other end? It's like do you ask the cleaner for one? So like I thought like this would be a really good idea for something to use. Maybe because it's maybe I needed to charge it more. So after I finished filming that bit, I really uh, didn't want to give up because I really liked the thought of it. So. I put it on the floor, which is probably what I should have done all along, or at least on a hard surface, and I literally, I squished it with my arm and was like, held it on, and it has gone flat. It has gone completely flat, which has, I'm happy. It's like, it, it's gone up in my estimation, and I think it's actually really cool, because I like the size of them. They're kind of like good, like, hand luggage size, like for a backpack, or in like one of the little cabin cases. So like, I really wanted it to work because I just think it would be a really great tool for like light like travel like when you have to pack light but um it has worked look it is actually flat where are we there so it's like a good I know I reckon it's got at least half the size I don't know if it'd come out creased or anything um when it came out because I didn't really notice it so much with like the coats that I packed before so I don't know if like things like this would end up going creased but for squishing and making it smaller, I, I, I'm actually impressed. I think it does work. Um, have you vacuum packed your clothes before? Would you try something like this for your like when you pack? Uh, let me know in the comments if you think it's a good idea and whether it's something that you maybe might use as a hack now. Um, yeah, have a good day.